partitions are basically sections of the hard drive. Partitioning hard drive just means dividing the hard drive into sections or partitions like the local disk C or the local disk D. These are just sections or partitions of the physical drive. Now every hard drive has at least one partition by default. To create a new partition you can shrink an existing partition and then create a new partition out of the extra space that remains after the shrinking process. So before you start partitioning hard drives it's important to make a full backup of the existing drive just because disasters happen. Also make sure you have enough space in the existing drive to create a new one. The partition that you want to shrink to create a new partition from. Uh, for example if you look at this you can see that I have 102 GB free out of 135 GB. So it means I can be able to shrink this partition by almost 102 GB but it's also good to leave extra space for the data in the drive that remains. So now to partition your hard drive you need to launch the disk management tool. Both Windows 7 and Windows 8 come with a decent uh, useful partitioning tool so you don't need to worry about installing third-party application softwares for partitioning. So now you need to launch the disk management tool. In Windows 7 you can do this by clicking on the start button and then typing partitions. In Windows 8 just activate the settings charm by moving your mouse pointer on the right side and then from the search box just type partitions and then click on this option that says create and format the hard disk. I should see a window like this whether you're in Windows 8 or Windows 7 that's called disk management. So I've selected to partition my new volume D which has 135 GB and has 102 GB I've already seen uh, of shrinkable volume. Now to shrink this partition just right click on it and then click on shrink volume. Uh, it should take a while. Eventually a dialog box will pop up requiring you to specify by how much you want to shrink the partition. As you can see I can be able to shrink up to uh, 105 GB as it says here but I want to reduce this to maybe 80 GB so just put instead of 105 GB I'll just reduce this to probably 80 so that I can have two uh, almost equal sizes of the hard drive. So once I have my 80 GB I'll just click on shrink. After that you'll see that my partition D is now smaller with only 75 GB and the rest of the 78 GB has been taken to the free uh, space. So this is an allocated space. Uh, if you go right now to your file explorer you will not see uh, the new space. You'll just see uh, my volume D has 57 GB. So just right click on the new space that remains after shrinking volume D and then click on new simple volume and then click on next from this wizard and then as you can see it's the new simple volume just click on next again and then you get to assign it a letter we've already used C and we've used D so the, it's more natural just to use the following letter which is E so when I click on next it's important to format the new drive as you're creating it so just make sure this is selected so it's going to be formatted with an NTFS file system and it's going to be called new volume. You can give it a name while you're creating it. You can call it new partition if you want. Or you can call it backup if you want to use it to backup your, your stuff. And then just click on next and then it give you a summary of your selections and click on finish. And then you wait for the new volume to be created by Windows. Uh, once it's done you'll be able to see it it's called new partition it's gonna get a blue mark like the previous one now when you go to file explorer you should be able to find a new partition uh, labeled e which is 78.5 gb thank you for watching you can ask any question you have in the comments box below this video and don't forget to subscribe my name is chris we're pre-education at org and i'll see you guys soon